Alright, what do I need to wear? I'm getting ready. We're getting ready to go find some pizza. You can't go wrong with any type of New York pizza. I just walked out of our room and on the floor is a bare ass, like a really big butt, like a huge butt. Smell. And it smelled terrible. Well, needless to say, there's a half naked woman in the hallway throwing up. We slept in until about 10.05 today, which is good because we were traveling all day long. I could explain, convey how cold it is here in New York City. I mean, if you live here and you're watching this, then you obviously know. We're going to Mulberry Street to get some pizza. We're going straight still. Yeah. pizza, drink some beer, and hopefully not have to go and get a massage. My back is freaking killing me. This atmosphere is really cool, so if you're in the Soho area, you should come here. It's pretty nice. I give uh, Ruberosa, I give it an eight. The, the vibe was cool, it was fun. I had a really good time, drank some delicious beer. Megan and I are going to Zara now. I'm gonna try to find some pants and maybe a suit and maybe some other stuff, I don't really know. Um, it's warmed up a little bit, hasn't it? You're not getting another suit, you have enough. Apparently I can't get a suit. It's warmed up a little bit, we're happy about that. Let's go to Zara. <laughs> we had a couple of beers at lunch and Megan can't walk in a straight line. <laughs> Megan's like this. Hey. Megan said she wanted watches and us all watch place and so we're here now. Megan might be buying a watch. Maybe, I don't know. Sitting here waiting for Megan to get out of anthropology. People are walking by at the Rockefeller Center. They're wondering what I'm doing. I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm tired, I'm bored. I wanna go and drink a beer and Megan just continuously shops. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. Yeah, so I texted my buddy Brian, he's still working, and then when he gets off work, we're gonna go grab more beer and more food and do fun guy stuff while Megan continues to shop and spend money and do all that other not fun stuff. So there's your recap for the day. I think I've spent about $220 so far on cab fares. It's been worth it because it's only like 10 degrees outside. Okay, there you go, you're caught up.
We're getting ready to go to the writing room and have some dinner and some drinks. I like your coat. Hey, look who it is. It's Brian Nance. Brian Kenneth, BJ Nance, Van Erden Jr. I used to have a fan page on Yahoo. Dude, I haven't seen Brian in forever. I'm so excited. We just had dinner at the writing room. Now we're going to get some uh, boyben, and then we're going back to their their place. Bourbon, 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 bourbon. I'm not wearing my gloves, Brian. <gasps> <laughs> never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you do. Where are you? I'm gonna take you. Hey. Oh my goodness. Hey, hi. Hey. Pretty lady. I'm so bad. I've missed Brian so much. Funny. It is so good to see him. Are we going out this way? Thank you, sir. Six and seventh, sir. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm gonna want some cheesecake. I'm really cold. My teeth hurt. So the missus gets what the missus wants. All right. Did you see what just happened in there? We ordered two different kinds of cheesecake. We got them in like one second. And Megan, where are you? Oh, there you are. We're going back to the room to eat cheesecake and be fat kids. And, and then we're gonna go to bed, get up tomorrow whenever we wake up and do it all over again. <sighs> Not so bad, we're okay so far. Go to bed.